Hello, welcome back to another speed build with Frimlin. And I'm back with the Seasons expansion pack. This is my second build with Seasons. And usually by this stage with most other packs, I've uh, usually released about two or three starter homes <laughs> or something like that, especially before I had a YouTube channel. I used to be much more prolific with my builds, especially when new packs came out. But I've slowed down and it's because I'm making videos now and uh, doing things that aren't speed builds as well, like let's plays and also showcases. <laughs> so I don't know if you've already seen my seasons showcase, if not, check it out. Right now it's my most popular video ever, so <laughs> about a week later I uh, decided to do another one and since there's no new packs in that week, <laughs> I went back and did an old pack and uh, so if you haven't already seen it, I've also done a showcase like that one but for the Luxury Party Stuff Pack which I think was the first Stuff Pack that came out many years ago <laughs> uh, only a few years ago but still it was, it was the first one I believe um, but I don't think it was the first pack in fact I just looked it up and <laughs> in fact Outdoor Retreat was the first pack and then shortly after that we had an expansion pack and that was Get to Work so I'll have to go back and do showcases for those packs as well. But yeah, I thought I should start with something rather small, considering it was quite an effort to do the one for Seasons. But yeah, I thought I'd better get back to my roots and do some more starter homes, uh, starting with this one. And this is a craftsman style home. Why did I decide to do a craftsman style home? Well because there's so many objects in the pack that seem to support the craftsman style. Uh, so I thought I'd better check it out and do something about that. Now I don't know what I was thinking with this white lining that I'm putting on the roof right now. <laughs> and in fact for a little while I kind of embraced it and stuck uh, white fences down and everything. And then I'm later on I'm like, actually no, <laughs> I'd prefer to go with a kind of wooden look everywhere. I mean like a more natural wooden brown look. So you're gonna see me replace those uh, very soon. In fact I'm doing it right now and I'm putting this kind of orangey brown on instead uh, just uh, because it has a nice contrast to the dark browns uh, that are also gonna be in this build. But yeah this is just a starter home and if you know much about starter homes, I imagine you probably know a lot about starter homes, but uh, just in case you aren't 100% uh, sure about them, they are on a very strict budget. They have to be under 20,000 simoleons. And so because of that, this place is uh, in places rather bare. But uh, the good thing was that in the seasons pack, there's actually quite a few cheap items. So I have to say thank you so much Maxis for giving us those cheap items, it's really helpful. I like cheap items for starter homes so <laughs> thank you for thinking to people like me. <laughs> One good example is the windows, I mean I think they're about 30 simoleons, 50 simoleons or something like that. Uh, so that is super cheap and that means there's really no excuse for not using lots of those windows in a, in a build especially a budget restricted build like this and of course because of that I did exactly that and I think every wall will have at least two or three windows <laughs> apart from the front here which also has a rather large door which was also very cheap so that was very cool and uh, in fact I think because of that I would like to do some more starter homes and perhaps not do one in the craftsman style but do something a bit more modern but still, of course, using just seasons. Uh, so yeah, um, you already know this because you've probably been watching lots of my speed builds already, but I am a restricted pack builder. <laughs> I build uh, restricted pack builds <laughs> and I also build restricted budget builds. I just love restrictions in my builds. And I think a lot of builders don't understand that as in they would rather have complete freedom and I completely understand that. Uh, why would someone want restrictions? I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of seem to thrive from them. Uh, so yeah, I, I haven't backed down on that. I've continued to use just restricted packs or just restricted budgets. Um, and yeah, I, I'm still really enjoying it. 
I'd, there's actually quite a few viewers really appreciate um, restricted pack builds in particular because you know they might not have all the packs uh, so they like being able to choose ones that just use the packs they have. So this ground cover that I'm placing now I actually remove it later on and the reason is because it's about 70 simoleons each which is relatively cheap and especially when you size it up like this it uh, does cover a lot of ground and I would happily use it it's just I decided that it would be better to use more of these bushes um, which I stick in later on. I don't know if you actually see me placing them or not um, but yeah I take out that ground cover uh, because it allows me to place about three other bushes instead. <laughs> so there I go adding windows and now I'm adding a fireplace or rather a chimney and uh, the cool thing is that this place I think because of all the cheap stuff that I used when I built it uh, this place can actually afford to have a fireplace which is kind of unusual for a starter build and when it just kind of worked I was like yeah <laughs> I was so excited because I thought this is not going to work, this is going to be too expensive. Um, but it wasn't, it was fine. So yeah, um, this chimney, I've actually never done a chimney quite like this before, but the type of chimney that we got in the pack kind of allows for it because it's a very small kind of nub of a chimney. So I just stuck that on the top of what's basically a very small one by one room on the second floor <laughs> and stuck some roofs on the side of it uh, which I don't think I have ever done in a build before but once I thought of it I was like yeah what a cool idea I'm sure lots of other people have done something like that before but I haven't so yeah it was, it was new for me uh, the only thing I kind of regret is that when I do like the showcase at the end you can't really see the, the chimney very well I wish I'd made it a bit more prominent uh, but oh well, uh, you just have to kind of appreciate that it's there, even if you can't see it very much. <laughs> but it looks nice on the inside, but of course we haven't got to that yet, but you'll see what I mean. Um, I'm rather happy with what I did there. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to show you that. Okay, so now we're inside and I'm now placing the walls. Uh, if you've seen some of my speed builds before, you'll know that I don't usually have a problem with placing uh, walls for rooms. I like doing it and uh, I don't know, I, I don't usually experiment around with it that much. I usually just place them and then bang, I'm, I'm happy with what I've done. Uh, so <laughs> I don't experiment that much, as, uh, I guess that's a bit of a problem. Maybe I should try experimenting more, but I don't know, I just do some walls and I'm like, yep, yeah, I like those walls and I just continue on with the build. So yeah, I like these walls that I placed <laughs> and I'm just continuing on. So I'm sticking columns on the inside and some fences in the inside as well. And uh, why did I do that? Well, because I think it looks great. <laughs> um, I guess it's kind of like bringing a bit of the outside inside and it brings the kind of uh, a fusion between the interior and the exterior, which I quite liked. It's not like you're just leaving the style outside, you're actually embracing it inside as well. Uh, these doors are of course uh, new with the Seasons expansion pack. I was tempted to actually, the double doors I've got just there, I was tempted to actually put an arch there, but none of the arches that came with the base game are of the, quite the right kind of wooden colour. I wish there'd been some new arches that had come along with the Seasons pack, you know, that had the same colours as the doors. I mean, how hard can it be to make new arches? I mean, they're basically just a hole <laughs> with a bit of kind of trimming around the outside. You could use that door there, but without the actual doors on it, you know? That's not that hard. Oh, anyway. <laughs> I'm happy with the pack, it's it's a nice pack, it's got lots of uh, nice items in it and I haven't used uh, many of them yet in builds because this is only my second build. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using them. Here is that fireplace I was telling you about. Now I love uh, in a build having some kind of exposed stone 
And so um, I'm really happy to do that here in a starter home. And I had a really great idea about uh, builds, by the way, while I was building this, and I, I can't reveal it to you now. <laughs> but it's just basically something I'm going to do with the video someday on my channel. It will be a kind of speed build, and it will kind of use starter homes as part of the theme. But that's all I want to say right now, <laughs> because I really like my idea. So I don't really want to you know, say anything about it until I've actually done something about it, and uh, in which case I will, will of course reveal all, as it were. Back to the build. Now, there was something a bit odd about this build, uh, which doesn't usually happen with my builds, and that is, as I was furnishing it, it just kind of flowed. It was kind of like painting. It just, I'd place something down, then I'd place uh, some decoration, then I'd move on to the next room and I'd place some furniture down and some decoration and I didn't really stop and hesitate. It just kind of happened. It was almost like recreating something I'd seen before. Very weird, but kind of cool. I mean, you know, I didn't stop there and hesitate or anything like that. It just, it just happened. It's just like bang, bang, bang. But I, I guess also another part of that is because it's a restricted budget build, you know, because it's a starter. There isn't really much you can do in each room. You have to be very selective about what things you place down. I love this bed, by the way. I just have to point this out that even though this room is uh, on the face of it, very minimalist, it just looks so much more luxurious with this bed. So I was really happy to use that bed. And yeah, I stick a bit of uh, decoration on the wall, I think, later on. These lights, by the way, I think I use them in every room and really love them. I mean, I love the, the bold colours and I love, well, I love in particular that orange that I used in the bedroom. But there's a range of different colours actually and I like a lot of them. It's uh, strange because I woke up and before I'd even finished my first coffee, I started building this today and uh, it's actually really warm uh, here in France right now. It's summer and uh, we've had a long period of very warm weather and it's strange because after I finished building this I did switch to winter in game a couple of times just to test it and also to capture some footage for the showcase at the end and it's so weird when you're sweltering hot in your apartment like I am and you're in winter in game that just doesn't work in my head. It was very strange, but yeah. So I couldn't use as much as I wanted from the Seasons pack in this bathroom. And the, I think the only thing is that sink and also the towels on the wall. But everything else is just like the cheapest versions in the game. I was just experimenting with the lighting there. But in the end I thought, no, I'll go back to that lovely light that I like. Uh, the ceiling light. Since there is, after all, a white version. And yeah, I'm using it again here in the kitchen. And there's a kind of a wine burgundy kind of colour. And yeah, uh, I love that light. I'm going to use it again, absolutely. And I don't remember what it cost, but I, I imagine it was cheap. <laughs> because so many of the things in this pack are really cheap. Which is very cool. So this kitchen, by the way, is very basic and uh, that's just the way it is in starter homes sometimes. But you know, the way I look at it is that, you know, once your sim starts getting more money coming in, then they can fill it up themselves. <laughs> so yeah, don't think of it as being empty. Think of it as being like a canvas to paint on. <laughs> so this dining area, I've got to say, I really like it because you know, this whole place, I think, in my uh, opinion at least, this whole place doesn't have this the cheap kind of empty starter home feel to it. It just doesn't. It just seems so much more expensive than it actually is. Anyway, I think we're done on the inside now. Maybe a little uh, tweak or two coming up before the showcase. But yeah, I'm just sticking a few things outside, including uh, a box of bees. A beehive <laughs> so basically I didn't want every object in uh, the build to be just uh, you know decoration 
So the beehive is something you can actually do something with. It's an interactive object. And yeah, um, happy to have placed it there. And I've also got a couple of pots for you to put plants in as well. I didn't stick plants in them because, believe it or not, they cost money as well. So even if you, you know, buy the seed and plant it, the actual plant itself has a cost and that will add to the cost of the build. I was really surprised I could stick this bookcase in, by the way. It was just super cheap. <laughs> and yet it's so big and there's lots of space in it to stick stuff on. Then we've got this uh, coat hanger by the door, which is also really cheap. <laughs> and I think I stick down uh, some umbrella. Yeah, there's the umbrella stand thingy. And yeah, uh, now I'm just adding a little bit of decoration to the bedroom. And I'm basically looking at all the items and thinking, what else can I afford to stick down? But hey, we're about done, so I hope you enjoy the showcase. So there we have it, a cute and cozy Craftsman Star Starter Home. As always, my builds are up on the gallery. Just search for Origin ID Frimlin, just like my channel name, and you'll find it there to download. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And just leave a comment down below. I love chatting to you, as many of you already know. Take care and goodbye.